All right, everybody, what is up? Bando back for another unboxing. Uh, this time it's gonna be my icon unboxing is what I'm gonna call it. So, uh, got a package here from Revzilla.com. They've been fantastic with me so far, working with uh, all the products that I've certainly got from them, which was my exhaust kit, my crash bars, my helmet, uh, my bracket for my fog lights. All of that has worked fantastic, so today, we're going to unbox all the rest of my riding gear that I just purchased from them and uh, see what we got. So obviously I already opened it, uh, make it a little easier on me. Plastic bubble wrap. All of it. As always, thank you from Revzilla. Stickers, which are awesome. Still have yet to put them on my bike, although I don't know if they're going to stick or not now because of the plasti dip. Okay, so what do we got first here? Here's my Icon Overlord pants, I believe. Icon Overlord, yeah, Overlord Resistance pants, there you go. Stealth black color, of course. Yeah, look at that. So, here's the back. And here's the front. The reason why I bought these pants was really to have some type of leg protection and knee protection. Also, this ratchet strap here is what I bought it for was to help to make sure they fit right because I'm a very skinny person. I'm about 120 pounds. Um, so I'm very small. And this ratchet strap I'm hoping is going to help being able to tighten down my pants. However, I did get a size 32. I am a size 30. But... These are designed to go over my jeans like I have currently on now. They're supposed to slip right over my jeans, and that way this gives me a protective layer over them, so it's an added layer of protection. And then when I get to where I'm going, I can take these off easily. Also, they have these nice knee pads, solid knee pads here. Um, help gives my, give me a little bit more leg protection. And then they have these straps that wrap around here to help tighten down where my boots are. So that's really good. And then they have zippers at the very bottom so you can zip this open and uh, allow your boot to slide up and over. And then you just zip this right over the top of your boot, which is really cool. Um, fantastic pair of pants that these are. Um, and as you can see, you got the Icon logo right here in the rubber piece, which they these guys really true. These guys are out of Portland, Oregon. They really do make some fantastic work. Yeah, they're a little on the high side, um, but you kind of trade that off for having more protection and safety and that's kind of what I don't mind about paying a little higher for protection as you can see here's the knee armor explaining how to adjust it which I think I'm gonna have to actually do this because the I tried these on also while the box is open was I already pre tried everything on so I can kind of give you guys a little uh, bit better description of the product um, I actually didn't know that they also well this must be the same yeah they just didn't realize it was there but that the adjustment strap was there but I, to adjust the knee armor because my knee armor is actually a little low on here because I'm I have very long legs I don't know if you can really tell with the camera I have very long legs um so the knee armor is actually a little bit low so I might have to adjust it up here in the middle um just to give it because these pads are kind of low but this is actually the whole it seems like it's only this but it's actually this entire piece is a pad so which is really good so you can adjust that easily which is what uh that was saying just has some basic outlines of what that these pants offer which is really good so that's one out of three the icon Re overload resistance pants here i have my new gloves these are the icon anthem primary pair that uh i believe just hit the market recently for icon so these are really nice gloves. These are a medium size. They have the, um, I believe all, f I believe all of these have, yeah, all these three th things that I'm going to show you have the, the D30 active armor. So it's pretty much a little bit, they're flexible, but as soon as you're coming to contact really hard with the ground, this will harden up and protect your skin underneath your, underneath the clothing. So that way you don't receive any more damage. Than what you would have had so these gloves are pretty nice they fit really well and uh 
they work really good. And they got this nice, like I said, this nice padding in the knuckle area. So it helps protect my knuckles in case I do fall. Also has touchscreen capability with these uh, nice grooves, which really just allows your fingers to heat sink with the phone, which I will pull my phone out. See, as you can see, obviously there you go. Obviously it's password protected, but you can see it's working, which is really nice. Um, so that's really good. That's another reason why I bought these because I needed to be able to access my phone while I was riding. Not really while I'm riding, but just in case I need to change my song or my music or whatever. Nice uh, goatskin type material here. Nice icon uh, logo here and here on the base of the glove, which is well, the knuckle part of the glove, which is really cool. Uh, these come in four colors, black, red, green, and blue, and really what changes is the logo here on the glove, and the blue one's nice because the actual, these indents for the fingers are all, this is all blue, and this is blue up here too, so it's really cool. Um, so these were, I believe the Icon Overload Resistance Pants were $175, these primary gloves were $35, but I got these for free since I had uh, pretty much for free because I did buy previously from revzilla.com so that was cool from them to pretty much give me my gloves for free and last but not least here i have my overlord primary jacket which big bag here there you go i don't know if you can really see that with the gopro but yeah, I'm using the Hero 4, so hopefully it's a little bit easier to see. But this is a really wicked jacket. It really is. Um, it's got this nice mesh material. It's got the Icon logo down here in the corner. Um, on the sleeves, on the front vest here. Uh, has padding in the, in the shoulders, in the elbows, and also on the spine back here. This protection right here, all in the middle, is all with the D30 plated armor, which is really fantastic. It's really, it's not actually really cumbersome. It's actually, when I try this jacket on, it's really, it fits you really well. And, uh, well, for me anyway, it does. It's a very, it's a little tighter of a fit, so you want to, you know, buy accordingly. Revzilla does a very awesome job with listing out, okay, what the size and width, like how to measure yourself to make sure you buy the first time and get it right the first time. And if you don't, you send it back. They have the first time return for free in case it doesn't fit. And you can always buy, um, they'll always exchange it for the one you want. So which is really nice on their part. It's a nice zipper. Here's the inside of the jacket. Also the hanger, obviously. Um, so it's got an inside pocket here. Has a hideaway pocket here, and so this is inside the outside of the the outer side of the jacket, um, and also this inner part of the jacket actually zips away from here. Just a second here, so then you just pull it out from the bottom here, like so. And here they have buttons attaching, which I don't know if they have buttons in the sleeves or not. They may. My other jacket had buttons in the sleeves. But these might. Oh, these actually. I think this is just. No, this is just a vest. My other jacket, my Yamaha jacket, actually has a. Um, all the way down in the sleeves, they actually have buttons here in the sleeves here. But here you could just unzip it and just unbutton it right here because this is just an. Apparently, it's just an internal vest. So there you go. You take that out from the inside. Um, and here's the rest of the jacket. Here's that D30 pad I was talking about. So that's uh, really nice. I mean, look how th this is a pretty thick, pretty thick padding. I mean, that's got to be a good quarter inch thick. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Probably you could take this is so you could take it out when you need to wash your jacket if you have to, um, or unless you don't want it, you can always just remove it. I recommend leaving it in there. Add it for impact. It says obviously D30 impact protection. Um, I really like this. I really like it because it's just, it makes you feel secure. That's pretty much what it does. It makes you feel like, okay, I got a, I got some good protection on and also has a pad. This is the same, well, this is a different pocket, I think, versus this one in here. 
yeah, see here's a pocket here. They also replace it over here with another pocket, which is good. Uh, that other pocket up here doesn't have any influence. And then they actually added another one right here. So that helps when you're uh, like me when I go, because I'm kind of like sort of a courier. I uh, take like envelopes to the bank or, you know, package or little tiny envelopes for the mailbox or whatever. This is perfect for me to put these envelopes. Like, uh, for example, have an envelope here. I just usually stuff it inside the pocket like that and I'll ride to the bank and when I get to the bank or the mailbox I'll pull them out of the pocket check to see if they got a stamp on the mail and throw it right in the box um, so that really helps too but um, overall I'm very happy with uh, this these three um, the only thing I will say is the pants are a little big but that's okay because I, I bought I purposely bought the pants big and here you go you can see designed and developed in Portland Oregon uh, which is really cool in the U.S. That means it's a U.S. made product. Appreciate you guys being a U.S. product. Put my life on the line. Knowing that I'm protected by some company that's in the U.S. versus overseas. Um, so, but yeah. And then also with the icon, this jacket's got some thumb uh, holders. Some guys like them, some guys don't. I think really it's okay for me. Because when I'm wearing my gloves and when you're wearing your jacket, if you go like this and reach up to the sky... Your sleeves will still be attached and they won't move. Um, so that's why I like that also. But as you can see, it's just... Um, the craftsmanship really shows with this, with these three here. Um, how, how well... And this is not all they sell. They sell many. Icon's got many different products for both men and women. Um, I just like this. This is just the jacket I like the best that suited my needs that I thought was well equipped for the armor. But for the looks, it was the was for the coolness factor. The only thing I don't have is my Icon Battle Scar with me because uh, I'm at the office right now doing this video. Um, it is at home um, and tomorrow is really going to be the first day I'm going to test this out and see how well this um, this product line goes together. How how do I feel when I ride? You know, is it is it beneficial? Is it not? The only thing I'm going to have to get used to is depending. I mean, you can wear these pants. You can wear these as actual pants. The only thing is, is I don't know if they're going to fit me or not because I purposely bought them big um, because I'm actually like a 29, 30 waist and this is a 32. So this might be a little loose on me if I don't wear a pair of jeans. Although the only problem is when it's super hot out, um, that's going to be my issue. I might have to start wearing. I might start having to wear shorts underneath this. Um, so I can change very easily, but awesome setup icon. Uh, thanks to Revzilla.com uh, for their product line and selling the, the, the making it easy to buy and sell these products that are are just been t phenomenal. They they really are, um, and I, I'm really appreciative really to Icon too for just just the quality of their products. Uh, I, the Icon Battle Scar I've had for months now, and I've rode with that and. And I, I really, you know what, once you get that, it kind of is tight on your face. But once you get used to it and you break it in, it's a fantastic helmet. It really is. Um, and I'm so stoked to be able to ride tomorrow. Right now it's it's raining outside, so I didn't take my bike today. Um, but I can't wait to get the gear on. I can't wait to get out and ride and to experience it and just, just to get my, my feedback so that way I can help other people out in their choices on whether they want to buy Icon or whether they want to go to some other brand. Um, I'm just out there for the mainly the public eye to make sure that, hey, you get what you're, I'm just voicing my opinion, but you really get what you're paid for. Yeah, I paid maybe $400 for all this, but it's so far, I tried it all on. I like how it fits. I like how it feels. I think this is going to be a, a fantastic, fantastic uh, set of, set of uh, gear that I have. And it's going to make me feel safer, which is ultimately going to help me enjoy the ride. A lot more so that's going to conclude this video i know i've been kind of rambling on about this and saying how good it is and people can voice their opinions and say hey you know is it good is it not good i want to know from you guys is it good is it not good do you have icon uh other icon gear do you guys like it do you guys don't like it um let me know in the comments below i really would like to hear from you um so that'll do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed um, probably sometime in the next couple weeks, I want to do a actual overview of my bike, give you a, a go around. How's it, how's it been working? How's it been holding up? Um, and hope you guys enjoy the other videos I post on my channel. Um, so until next time, this is Bando and I'm signing out. Peace.